Monday is the deadline for Donald Trump to meet a $450 million bond to the state of New York and Attorney General Letitia James. It's an incredible amount of money. And there has been some, like um, Congressman Ted Lieu, who said Donald Trump claims to be worth billions. How can he not come up with $454 million? To that, many are like, why does every Democrat seem to not understand business? Even Mark Cuban said, hey, man, just because you're a billionaire doesn't mean you're liquid to the tune of $454 million. Kevin O'Leary, Pete, um, from Shark Tank, Mark Cuban's co-host, was on um, Outnumbered yesterday. And here's what he had to say about this judgment. Yeah, I don't think it's a case about Trump at all anymore. Uh, I think people should be thinking about the policy being put in place here, the competitive, competitiveness of New York State versus other U.S. states, but more importantly, the message about the American brand. Hmm. You think about America, the reason this is the number one economy on Earth is that we have laws and we have due process and we have property rights. It attracts foreign capital from all around the world. All of that is being shaken to the core here. So, Pete, obviously the implications are bigger than simply for Trump. The options seem to be as follows. Um, he can raise money from from supporters, which um, reports are he's not interested in doing that. He's not sort of interested in hat-in-hand donations. He can be declare bankruptcy. Um, that seems to be a point of personal pride that he never has personally declared bankruptcy. So that doesn't seem like a real option. Um, C can do nothing in the state of New York can can take over properties. There's reports about 40 Wall Street being a building they could take over. But I don't think the state of New York wants to run one of his properties. And if they try to make a fire sale, you know, and and sell it, I mean, A, that's not done very quickly. And B, they would way undersell it. You know, they would way undersell it. I, the, the the options are really not very good for Donald Trump. Yeah, this is actually weighed. I've, I've actually thought about this a lot, and it's really bad. Uh, by the way, I don't agree with Kevin. O'Le- I like him a lot. Um, this is not about the business environment. He said that on a lot of in a, a lot of shows in a lot of different ways, which I, I respect the point. But this is about Donald. This is about Donald Trump. Okay, Joe businessman is not going to get this treatment in New York City now. Someone like Trump in the future, maybe I get the idea of an equal scales. And that is, a, but this is a Trump, you know, economic assassination attempt that Letitia James is trying to make. She wants this man out of New York City, this man embarrassed, this man put in a place where he can't come up with the cash. All of that is true about a billionaire and liquid assets of property. There's no doubt about that. I think Trump should challenge this based, I don't know where this is, and, and you know the levels of challenge. What about the Eighth Amendment sort of imposing excessive bail, excessive fines? You know, that, I feel like he's got a damn good case there on the Eighth Amendment to say five hundred million dollars. What? Because I'm a flight. What? What's the, the bail here on that is excessive um, and fight it in that direction. I don't know what he does. I, he was not going to ask supporters. You're exactly right. Although I've had people reach out to me over email elsewhere saying, how do I donate? to Donald Trump, which is an amazing view of how people feel about this. He's been willing time and time again to go to the courtroom to say, hey, I'll go to court because I'm fighting on behalf of you. And that has resonated for him inside the primary and in his poll numbers. It's a whole nother thing to say, they're taking my assets and I'm doing that for you. They're taking Trump Tower. They're taking my golf course and they're fire sailing them at a tenth of their value. Like this is a guy who is a businessman at his heart who has pride in that business, who has sons who will take over that business and believes should live in a country where that's possible to do. This to me is going to get really gnarly. I don't know what, I don't know what it's going to look like. I, I, and the fact that you can't find an insurer willing to underwrite it because of the real estate portion of it. I don't know where it goes, but the left is going to love, love, love this. And they want to put a for sale sign on everything they can for Donald Trump if they can.